guys, so I'm back with my 32 week pregnancy book date. So I'm officially eight months pregnant and things are getting really, really real. So I'm gonna share with you a lot of developments this week, getting ready for a baby. Now that it's like, technically the baby could come as early as like a month from now and, and be kind of full grown, it's like making it really like crunch time. So I'm gonna share with you all my preparation and stuff like that going on. Um, the baby is currently the size of a head of lettuce. Um, almost 19 inches and 3.9 pounds, which is crazy because two of my friends who gave birth this year, they have baby girls who were only five pounds. So I'm picturing like their little baby and my baby, and I'm like, you know, it's like not that far away. Like I said, I've been doing more like work to prep for this baby. Um, one of the things I did was I finally signed up for a baby class. So I signed up for I think it's called Baby Essentials. It's a three-hour class at my hospital, which is north side here in Atlanta. They give them parents, and you go and take the class in person. So I signed up for that. It's after work, like 6 to 9 o'clock, so my husband can come. And um, I'm glad because I've been doing a lot of research, like reading my app, watching videos, um, reading books. But he hasn't really done anything and he's like i need to start reading some books i'm like yeah because <laughs> you know i need someone who's gonna know you know some of the stuff he has like he's the type that's very logical and he thinks he he does what makes sense like scientifically and logically to him but i need him to like go to a class so he can actually hear things not just from me he can hear him from a professional and like understand because for example he has his his like little things like oh I don't think I should rub your feet because that might cause contractions and like weird stuff like that where I'm like dude you really need to do your research and just kind of that way you're not just like saying random things so that class is coming up this week so or this week or next week I can't remember um so I'm very excited about that it's only three hours it was like 56 bucks so it wasn't bad at all I also finished reading my hypnobirthing book, The Mongan Method, which I showed you in Last Bum Day, which promotes natural birth, um, just kind of naturally doing everything you can to help manage pain and like gently push out the baby versus medical intervention, cesareans, epidurals. So I finished the book. I'm not finished studying because the book came with some DVDs, which um, they don't work on my laptop and right now, like I said, I've been saying in the last couple of videos, I'm getting my basement renovated and that's where my DVD player is. So I'm just gonna, the basement should be done this week. They say Monday, like that's what he's been saying. It's definitely like a week and a half, two weeks, it's like two weeks over the estimated completion date, which is like, okay, I really need to get my life together because my house is in shambles. When you have renovations being done, it's like you can't like function normally. My whole makeup room is actually downstairs in the basement on the on one half and they're doing renovations on the other half so I haven't been able to get to my makeup stuff. My workout area was over there too so I haven't been able to like work out over there so be glad when that's done. But once um, they're finished and I can kind of start you know settling back in I'm going to start like doing more workout DVDs I have down there as well as listening to the DVDs and practicing my meditation and stuff and I'm going to ask my doctor what she thinks about hypnobirthing and if she's ever done a birth where the parents have done it because one of the biggest thing is having a medical professional and a and the the hospital support it which i think mine does because it's pretty advanced so we'll see how that goes i finished the book i feel like i've got some knowledge under my belt i haven't closed the door either way like i'm not saying i have to do natural childbirth no matter what and I'm now I'm not on the other end which is where I started with which is I'm definitely gonna be an epidural like I'm kind of like right in the middle and it's good to know about both options um something that has been happening a lot this week which has been getting on my nerves is that now that I'm obviously pregnant and about to have this baby people have been just volunteering to me their horror stories about giving birth and I read in my hypnobirthing book that that's something that always happens is that people almost take pride in saying how bad their labor was or they're like, I was in labor for three days. Oh, when I was in labor, they had to do this. Like it's almost like bragging rights, you know, like they struggled and they don't even realize they're doing it, but it's like not helpful at all. 
So people are like, oh, natural birth, uh-uh, blah, 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 that, this whole, the, the whole like breathing techniques and meditation does not work, or I had to get an epidural, but it didn't work, so blah, 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 was so much pain. And I'm kind of like annoyed by it because I'm like, I don't think that's helping me. Like your horror stories for a first time mom who's going to have labor does not help me. Do you guys, I mean, like, is that something you've experienced as moms? Or is that something that you notice that you do to, to moms? Because it's almost like, it's just like a natural reaction, I guess. But you you shouldn't be trying to scare people. So, for example, this is like what I compare it to. Have you ever seen Say Yes to the Dress, like the wedding dress show? There are some people who go to a wedding dress fitting and they're like, Oh, that's ugly. I don't like that. And there are some people who are like, Oh, okay, well, what do you think? Do you like it? Well, maybe like something else like... That's how I am. I'm more of the nice, constructive criticism type. Honest still, but not like overly blunt. And then there are the really blunt people, which they think is also a good thing because they're being honest. But like, I feel like if you don't really have anything positive to say, you shouldn't tell people that when they're about to have a baby. Because it's like, it makes you stressed out and it scares you. And you, you know, like I mentioned in the last video, when you have fear, it actually increases the stress on your body, which actually makes labor more painful and more difficult to do. So I'm trying to go into this calm, trusting my body, you know, understanding what, that everything that's happening is part of the process. So I just had to vent for a second because it doesn't necessarily scare me, but it gets on my nerves when people do that. And I've mentioned a couple times to my friends, like, hey, I don't want to hear that. You know what I mean? Like, not to be rude, but like, positivity, you know what I mean? And that's my rant. <laughs> okay, so I'm still working, um, teaching at the Makeup Academy, doing makeup, freelancing. I had a bridal trial this last weekend, and I was like, you know, I'm like eight months pregnant. I can still be on my feet, but I was on my feet for a couple hours, and because it, it was an Indian wedding bridal trial, so I had to do multiple looks. And my back was killing me. So I had to do this trial for a couple hours and then I had to teach my night class and then I didn't get home till late. So that took it that took a, a toll on me and I went home and my back was just hurting. Like I had to go right to bed and I was like, that's my biggest symptom for sure as a pregnant lady is back pain. Like I always deal with my back hurting during the day as well as especially when I sleep at night, can't find a com comfortable position. And um... I've been using like, you know, my support belt as well as my little support shorts and I have like, all of my pregnancy pillows. I have like tons of pillows and I have my heating pad, but it's just something that it's part of the, you know, it's like you're paying your dues. <laughs> like you have this bowling ball sitting in front that's like causing strain on your back. So as I creep into my ninth month and the tenth month, I'm definitely going to try to slow down on the gigs. Crazily enough though, I have a lot of, I have a lot of um, weddings booked like after I give birth, which it might be a little bit, maybe me thinking I'm going to be fine, but like I have a wedding trial book six weeks after I give labor, give birth, and then a wedding eight weeks after. And I figure I'm not going to be working full time yet, but I can probably do like random gigs. So hopefully it's okay. My partner wanted me to um, teach a full out makeup certification in October and I'm giving birth in September and I was like oh no I can't do that now like I need time to recover at least six weeks to fully heal before I go back to teaching full time because I'm not trying to be crazy like that you know what I mean so just want to mention that um if you are interested in ever booking me for my services um or booking my team I actually um me and my partner just started a makeup agency which is pretty much like the trimmed alumni from our makeup school. So it's really excited. We've been putting a lot of work into it. So not only are you able to book me, but you can book of my whole team, which is like 18 of us, anywhere from assistants to junior artists to lead artists, as well as myself. And you can book us for makeup gigs. So I'm really excited about that. We're using an app called Booksy, which is amazing. So if you're a makeup artist and you're looking to find like an appointment scheduler, this Booksy app is the best. You can have your calendar availability on there, which is great for me as, an, as a mom who will have times where I can't not, I can't work because I'll be with a baby and I don't have a babysitter. 
so I can have my availability on there as well as my team's availability and you can book directly on there through Instagram, Facebook, my website, Google, Yelp and then you can pay on there and it's like so convenient and it's just like amazing. So I wanted to give a shout out to Booksy. I'm a, I've recently become a Booksy ambassador so I wanted to spread the gospel on it. But definitely check out the link below if you're interested in setting up for your own Booksy account. Hook a mama up because, you know, this is definitely part of my job to do makeup and do work with companies to promote them. And, you know, gotta make money for the baby. But also, it's, I'm actually using the service on my own extensively. And I wouldn't recommend something that isn't awesome. So definitely check out Booksy, my referral link to sign up, as well as I'll put the link so if you want to book me or my team, you can book us through there as well. So that's my little work, you know, how work is going to be changed by the baby. I'm going to definitely, like, have my, my availability kind of limited in the beginning. And now I also have a team, a whole great team of IMA pro team artists who can do gigs for me. And I've actually mentored and trained them, so I really trust them. And I know they have all the right techniques and professional business practices, sanitation, and they're all just amazing. So that's that. So something I've been doing this week, like a crazy person, is trying to order my husband his outfit for our baby shower. I've had my dress for a couple weeks. I got it on Amazon. We're having a tropical themed baby shower. So I got like an off the shoulder kind of mermaid maxi, which is a little sexy, very fitted, very stretchy though. So it was like, it's good. I'll have, I'm planning on doing a whole week of vlogging starting tomorrow to film the preparations for our baby shower. So that will be exciting. So I'll take you with me to get my hair, makeup, nails done. I'll take you with me to do like the preparation. My mom's coming into town, you know, all the stuff to get ready for the shower. And obviously I'm hoping I can get footage of the shower. I'm not gonna be like vlogging the entire time because I wanna enjoy the baby shower, but I'll definitely get some stuff on footage or at least pictures. Cause I, we have a photographer who's gonna be there. So I'll have good pictures. So definitely been trying to get him like his own tropical outfit. So I want to get him like a, um, a tropical shirt, but like cute. Not like the big dad Hawaiian shirt. It's more like the fitted ones that you're seeing guys wear now with like a tropical print. But it's been so hard finding him an outfit because his body shape is tough to fit. So we like slim fit on him and his, his waist is narrow, but he's got larger arms because he works out and he's got biceps. So... Things will fit him in his waist, but they'll be too tight on his arms. And if we go up a size, it's too big on his waist. So I found a really cute shirt on ASOS for him. And it's got a, a cute tropical print without looking cheesy. And I found these really cute, like, print, like, these really cute um, colored pants that match my outfit. You know, for a little splash of color. Like, the pants are orange and the top is, like, black with tropical print. So it's too tight, but I'm going to make it work. And I asked my aunt Janice to see if she could somehow alter the sleeves so they're not so tight because it's not a stretchy shirt at all. It's like a really thin kind of Hawaiian type shirt. So I'm hoping that works because I've ordered him a, a, a bunch of tops and they don't, none of them are looking good. And I'm like, I just want to get his outfit, <laughs> you know, and I bet you a lot of people don't worry about that kind of stuff, but like. For events like showers, like my bridal shower, my baby shower, my maternity photos, I want to make sure the outfits are cute, you know? It's pic- we're getting pictures and video, so I want him to look cute too, because it's a co-ed shower and it's his half of his shower as well. So, you know, when my bridal shower came around, he didn't have to worry about any of that stuff because it was just like an all-girl shower. But we're going to make sure he looking cute too. Um, something that I definitely noticed this week is that I take a nap almost every single day. I'm just tired and it's usually an afternoon nap and I try not to do it too late because I don't want to interrupt my sleep pattern but to be honest like I can't sleep at night anyways so um, it doesn't really matter like I have to catch up on my sleep during the day through a nap because I'm just I can't sleep at night my back hurts I'm shifting I'm a lot I'm getting up to pee um, and I'm just like in pain I can't find a comfortable position but we're actually, um, part of the basement renovation is getting us our own, a, a, a new bedroom and we're going to have a new bed and hopefully I get this bed this week and like maybe a better mattress will help. I don't know. We'll see. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to suck it up. 
Okay, so something else I got done this week, which I want to mention, is I did get my hair dyed. I don't know if you could tell, but I had my roots dyed. So there have been questions, like some people are like, you can't, you can't dye your hair when you're pregnant. Some people are like, you can. And I checked with my, like one of my friends who's a doctor and she was like, no, you can't. You need to use ammonia free hair dye or just don't do it at all. But then I've seen some people who are like, as long as you're not bleaching your hair at the scalp, it's fine. So as an alternative, my hair sauce, instead of having my roots be solid black, cause my hair is jet, jet black. This instead is a brown, a dark brown that will fade into my like blonde highlights. So it's not like a harsh, like black stripe. It's kind of like that faded root, dark brown into the blonde. And the, the fade is a little bit more gentle looking. So she hasn't been, putting any like bleach up my scalp because the chemicals can seep into your body. She's just been doing the roots and then occasionally she'll do foils around my face which don't touch my scalp. So that's been the alternative. When I go, I'm gonna go back in another six weeks and get some highlights done. Again, not like the scalp and um, that way it, it doesn't look so like oh dark in the light. And I figure like I'll get it in before the baby comes so that way like it'll be fresh so then I probably won't see her for like another three months while I'm dealing with like baby newborn stuff. Oh another thing is that to me I think my stomach has dropped and I keep asking my husband I every day I love to look in the mirror to see how it's grown I'm like oh does it you think it's bigger it looks bigger and he's like and I was like doesn't it look so big and he's like it doesn't look super big but you look pregnant like he just doesn't think my bump looks big but to me I think my bump looks huge and my even his grandma we saw her the other day and she was like you're carrying low and I feel like um more than one person has mentioned that to me so I that brings me to showing you the bump so I'm wearing a dress a fitted dress today so you can see it I have the dress on along with my Bellevation maternity support shorts which are kind of like Spanx but they're not compression they're more for just kind of like holding everything together which is a little bit like back support which is good so I don't have to wear my little belt but um it doesn't do anything to squish the bump so it still looks like how it looks so I'm going to show it to you so here is the bump so it definitely sticks out like everywhere I go people mention oh you're pregnant how long what are you having because you cannot miss this bump <laughs> So this is um, today I'm officially 33 weeks and one day. I turned 33 weeks yesterday, but this is my 32 week bump shot. So it's definitely getting bigger. I'm excited for my mom to see my belly because she hasn't seen me since I visited her. Oh, since she came into town for my gender reveal. And at that point I was 17 weeks, which was like a little bump but it's definitely been 17 weeks since then, like four months, she'll see, she hasn't seen my belly. So I'm excited for her to see it. She's coming into town Wednesday. Like I said, uh, this whole week, which will be the 33rd week, I'll do a vlog and it'll be a slash baby shower vlog. Cause I did a seven months, pre I did a six months pregnant vlog. Follow me around, it was like two parts, which you should definitely check out. Just to kind of show you like the life of a pregnant working makeup artist which I thought was pretty interesting then I did a seventh month vlog seven month vlog because it was my baby moon so I was like oh okay cool like I'll take you around with me as we travel so you should definitely check that out as well I'll link them below and now I'm doing pretty much like an eight month vlog which is like coincides with um my baby shower month and then we'll see if I end up doing a nine month we'll th we'll see so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this bump date. Let me know what you think about some of the things I commented on below. <laughs> I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. And I have a lot more videos coming up planned. I actually want to start filming a bunch of like um, reserve videos so that when I go on to maternity leave, I don't have to film every week. I can take a break to focus on the baby. So I'm actually about to film a updated train makeup train case video. And then I'm trying to come up with ideas, like I'm gonna do a summer favorite. Obviously I'll do what's in my hospital bag video. And obviously a nursery tour. So if you have 
requests for videos like please tell me because I need ideas so I can get onto filming them and then also do um, a new basement tour so I'll show you guys like the, the renovated rooms that we've been working on because I'm definitely decorating down there and all that good stuff so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this make sure to check out my blog makeupbyrenrun.com for an update of everything I talked about, all my symptoms, all my recommendations, and stuff like that. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great night. Ciao, fellas.